guys for watching Volgor's Beer Reviews, and this time we're taking a look at Bridgeport Brewing Hopzard Cascadian Dark IPA. Brewed in Portland, Oregon. Bridgeport Brewing Company, Portland, Oregon. 7.5 alcohol by volume. There's the front label and the back. 84 to 2014. Well, and now it's 2015, so it's going on 31 years. Well, 30 according to the bottle. Our Hops RPA series has turned to the dark side for its third limited release. Oh, wow. Good thing I grabbed it when I saw it. This Cascadian Dark IPA is built on the foundation of rich dark malt and midnight wheat. A heavy dose of Northwest Goldings and Crystals in the boil push the bitterness up to 85 IBUs. So, a lot of people are not going to like this unless you know what you want. You know what I mean? Yeah, this ain't no water. Uh, IBUs. While Sentinels and Cascades in the Hop Jack deliver a bold citrus aroma, the dark, the darkest of Zars rules with an iron fist. Long live Beervania, BridgeportBrew.com. That's oh, also on the bottle, Oregon's oldest craft brewery. Wow, I didn't know that. So that's cool. This is the first time I believe, first time I've ever had a Bridgeport beer. So. Do I have a lighter? Um, oh, this one doesn't have a lip on it, so this would be hard to do with the lighter. Let's see if I can do it. Almost. Almost. Uh, no, I give up. Where's that damn ball opener? Of course, this beer has to be, you know, different. There it is. Oh, it smells heavenly. All right, now that I just stalled 30 seconds or whatever wastedness, crack this bitch open. Whoa, look at that. I can see the, the foam right at the top after I cracked it open. Mm. Look at that glass. Look at that. That is a damn good looking beer. I'm going to set that ball right there. And yeah, just by looking at it, it looks damn good. Um, smell. You can smell it's it's rich and it doesn't smell quite as hoppy or bitter as in Kossi Slayer, which is very similar. This is 7.2% and this is a dark alt ale, which... This is a Cascade Dark IPA. They're, eh, they, even though they're, they're called different things, they both look pretty similar. Except this one looks way more frothy. Like, look at the head. It looks like a like a mocha or something. Which, the uh, the Slayer didn't look as sudsy. It looked more. I don't know. It looked a little different. Anyways, it does, it does smell kind of like coffee, a, a coffee esque roasty smell. But similar, if you drink coffee, you don't drink beer, then you're gonna like, no, that doesn't sound like coffee. Similar, not the same. Um, it also smells very similar to like a black beet porter, but I don't know. This this smells a little more pungent than that. Probably because it's a little more hoppy or uh, bitter or whichever, because it's a Cascade Dark IPA. All right, for the drink. Mmm. Wow, that is really, really good. And almost, uh, even though it's 7.5 ABV, I mean, you can taste the bitterness as it slides down your throat, but it doesn't, it's not as intense. It's not as strong on the tongue as Slayer was. And... This has a little less alcohol, which is weird because, you know, looking at the label, it says Cascadian Dark IPA. 
IPA, I'd think it'd be super hoppy, super strong, super bitter, but compared to that one, the Double Alt Ale, which is probably more or less the same style of beer, um, yeah, it's a little more mellow. The head's gone, but it's still very frothy, and as you s switched around the glass, the mouthfeel is more of a medium than, than heavy. It's not that thick, and and uh, it's also not as dark as I'd expect. Well, it's also been a while since I've had Black Beat Porter. You know, I remember Obsidian Stout was a lot more bitter, but not as frothy, so. I mean, if you like dark beers and you live in Oregon, you have no, ex you know, you, you gotta try this. This is damn good. I'm very glad I caught it when I saw it. I didn't know it'd be limited release. Mmm. I mean, it's dark, but it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's not overly dark. I mean, for what it is, this is a a pretty perfect beer. I mean, uh, taste alone is like a 10 out of 10. I don't remember what I gave Slayer, but the Slayer was just a little too... I mean, I liked it a lot. And if I wanted a big punch of the hops, then I'd go to Slayer. But this one, uh, to me, tastes a little bit more milder. Which is kind of good because... You know, you don't want to have so much hops that your mouth just feels super dry. This, I could see my mouth getting dry after a while of not drinking it, you know, keeping keep it, my mouth lubricated, you know, sip, sip, and then talk a while, whatever, and your mouth starts to dry up again. I can see this one not doing it as much, but they both got hops. They're obviously, you know, I mean, a hop, they're both hoppy beers. That Either one's going to do that. All right, back to the beer advocate. Um, the average review is 3.52, so it's just short of a 4 out of 5. Um, the, the Bear Advocate gives it 81, good, and the bros have not reviewed it. Um, this beer was debuted, or beer was added by Dear Adam Smasher, 9-28-2014, so last September. Hmm. Does it say on the bottle when it came out? Uh, I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Um, Alright, so what's some of the other people? Alright, this one guy says 1.3. First time it was amazing, then the second time late, uh, later year got it. And it might have been sitting on the shelf too long. It was super skunk. Think they're fermented at a super high temperature or just not storing it properly. Okay, whatever. That was just a bad beer. Um, a lot of 3.5s, all 3.6. Okay. Porous chill haze, mahogany with the thumb of tan head. Great lacing, great retention. Roastness and carob. Whatever that means. Taste, roastiness, faint pineiness, dryness, and charred grain notes. A little bit of molasses, charred grain. Yeah, I, molasses, of course, because it's a dark beer. Uh, Mouthfeel, medium body, light, slight carbonation, okay balance. Yeah, it's not overly carbonated. And you cannot see the bubbles in that beer. It's very dark. Um, yeah. Mmm. Um, mouthfeel was between IPA and a porter, but yeah, it's still, it's the hops, it's still bitter, but compared to the Slayer, the Slayer was just more, had more punch, that's from what I remember, but you like, you like a porter, you like a hoppy beer, bam, this is the perfect, perfect beer to try out, um, yeah, you can taste the coffee beans, thick, palate long, um, dark brown. Okay, anyway. I was just got done watching the, uh, Oregon, Oregon versus, uh, the Buckeyes, Ohio. Yeah, and, of course, Oregon lost, but, you know what? It made it this far. It wasn't that bad of a game. It, you know, what was it? Um, 17 to 21. 40. 17 to 40, I think it was. 21 to 40. 21 to 40. Uh, whatever. We made it that far. At least the Ducks did better than the Beavers did during Civil War. That was that was laughable. That was hysterical. Alright, so yeah. I give this beer, you know, on taste, probably 10, but on price, you know, it, I knock it down a little. I can't really knock it on price because it's such a good beer. You know, some beers I could say, you know, 
like let's, for example, Shock Top. It's made by Anheuser Busch. It's 7.29 a six pack. Well, that's not too terrible for 7.29, but you know, for other beers, you sometimes can find better than, than Shock Top for 7.29. But for this one, I'm pretty sure it was at least eight or nine dollars. You know, somewhere around a dollar eighty, two dollar six pack number. I don't remember. I just know I saw this in the in the case or six pack, and I'm like, that looks good. Let me try it. And I'm glad I tried it out. So, yeah. Damn good beer. And if you if you've had a Guinness but you haven't had any other porters, stouts, you've only had a Guinness. Whoa! Once it got to the end of the glass, it got really bitter right there. Um, if you had what I remember from trying Guinness. It's really good. It's really, you know, the best part is it has that texture, like, uh, it suds the all, all throughout. And no other beers that, you know, not not that many beers are like that that I've came across. I mean, in my opinion, at least, maybe they didn't really notice it in a different beer. But it's not that hoppy. It's not that strong. It just it just tastes good. It's mellow. I mean, if, you never, if you're never, if not used to it, sure, it is strong and whatever. But going from... Hop Czar or uh, Slayer or Obsidian Stout by uh, Deschutes. Um, you know, these Guinness is kind of mild in comparison. But anyways, that's my review. Thanks for watching. See you next time.